Can you tell us, Councillor, about the proposed cuts? If we're to deliver a balanced budget, we have to make economies, I'm afraid. It's not our fault, Russell, as you know. Greedy, corrupt, incompetent bankers cause this worldwide recession. Central government, in its wisdom, has decided to cut the money it gives us in order to try and reduce our huge national debt. So, locally, in the words of that famous old song, which you may have seen me perform on karaoke nights in many of our local pubs, something's got to go. It's either the libraries, it seems, or home helps. We've seen massive public demonstrations against the closure of our libraries, but not a single member of our electorate has been on the streets demonstrating against the abolition of home helps. Don't you think, Councillor, that might be because the people who acquire home helps are too disabled to demonstrate on our streets? No, I don't, Russell. Our administration has provided excellent disabled access to all our streets, a fact of which we are all justly proud. But isn't it the main function of any civilised government to protect the weak and vulnerable? After all, a strong can and always do look after themselves. No, the main function of any civilised government in any democratic society, <coughs> which thankfully we enjoy here, is to represent the wishes of the majority of our electorate. You obviously don't understand the meaning of democracy. Here, the majority, it seems, wish to keep our libraries open and don't seem to care two hoots about the preservation of home helps. So it looks as though the council's choice has to be to let the home helps go. And please bear in mind, most old people do have relations and friends. If we lived in a third world country, they would care for them. What we require here is some of the same. Ordinary citizens looking after each other. More of a big society and less of the big handout. We'll continue shortly, Councillor, but first some music. Ted? Ted, it's me, Sandra. How are you today? I should say, more worried. It's not true, is it, Sandra? The Councillor aren't really going to abolish home helps. I don't know for sure, Ted. Very probably, it seems. All us home helps have got a meeting with them this evening to discuss things. Groovy, Councillor, groovy. Powers that be keep banging on about the big society. It seems to be sack everyone they can and hope that charity volunteers will take over. That's ridiculous. You know from Africa that charities generally only scratch the surface of most problems. On top of that, they make governments complacent and give them excuses for not doing anything that they could actually sort the problems out. You're a real classy mover, Councillor. Don't they know, without professional people like you, I'd be lost? They don't seem to. Not on the desk, please, Councillor, if you don't mind. You give me a reason for getting up in the mornings, and I'll have a reason I can get up in the mornings. Are you classically trained, or is that go-go? I wouldn't be able to manage if you weren't here. You are solely responsible for making my life bearable and worthwhile. Get away with you, Ted. If you go on like this, all I'll need is a couple of miracles, and the Pope will be canonising me. Well, you were saying to me you really are. Without you, I, I might as well be dead. Make matters even worse, there's apparently going to be a delay on having my stair lift fitted. Cheer up, Ted. Give us one of your poems. Dear politicians from some of your lecturers, may we please climb aboard your gravy train? We've wisterias which want removing. We too have to phone some places foreign, and our seaside halls homes crave improvement. Great news! The council aren't going to get rid of us home helps after all. They decided they can save enough money to keep us by hiring competent council executives. Each with a different expertise and appropriate qualifications. That way they'll have no need to hire expensive outside consultants or pay for exorbitant feasibility studies. They'll have all the required talents in-house and save... Ted! Ted! 